Starting a new segment on Sunday mornings, it's Home Helpers, and it's geared to answer your questions about household projects. And our guests this morning are Eric Wolfers and Travis Jones. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thanks for having us this morning. Well, it's spring, and that means the possibility of water in the basement, and we dealt with this a lot last year. Yeah, we had a lot of flooding and everything else. We wanted to come out, uh, tell people about the newer and older style sump pumps, depending on what you have in your house, how to check them, how to make sure that there's no problems. Uh, the worst thing that you can have is water in the basement. So brought with me, uh, Travis, he's one of our handyman experts to kind of explain uh, different systems, how to check them, uh, what to do. So go ahead, Travis. Well, what we've got here are two different styles of sump pumps. We've got the, the newer style, the submersible pump, which looks like this. And an uh, easy way to test that is to uh, just lift up on this float right here, and that'll activate the pump to make sure that it's pumping water. Um, second of all, we've got the older style pedestal pump, which is recommended if you've got a lot of water going through your sump pump hole. Uh, to test that, you kind of just uh, lift up on this float here. It'll click on this switch, and uh, water will flow through the pipes. So, okay. On that, Travis, I've heard not to put that on the rock. Is that right that you want to have it on something else because rock can get in the bottom of that? Is uh, that one of the negatives on that? Yes, that, that is correct, Eric. Uh, it's best to have this set on like a concrete paver in the sump pump so that the rock or pea gravel does not get su sucked up into the pump and cause a clog. Okay. Sure. Do you want to be outside as well to have and, and actually try to run some water through there to make sure that the pipe isn't clogged at all? Yeah, that's a good idea to just step out in the yard and locate where your uh, lines are going out into the yard and make sure that water is flowing through this when you've got a rainy season and there's water in the pump, sump pump pit. I'll say something you may have to do is have a five gallon bucket fill it up because I mean there is some rain now but if you're checking it it's probably not running sure. so that's what we recommend is having a five gallon bucket fill it up with water fill it up this should raise up the actual float to make sure it's working go out in the yard make sure it's away from the home we recommend about 25 feet away from the house otherwise you're just pumping it right back into the basement and recirculating it so you really want to make sure, sure that that's away from the house um, that you're just not creating the same problem what you're looking at or something like that um, question on you Travis mine it's got a seal over the top of it. I've got a new house, um, and mm -hmm. I don't know what my pump looks like. I can't reach my actual float. What's the best way to check in on something like that? Well, if it's sealed up, Eric, you can uh, take apart these two plugs right here and just plug the pump in directly. This will bypass the switch so it's not operating. And uh, if you just take just the pump cord and plug it into the wall, you should hear your pump gurgling down in the sealed up sump pit. Okay. So that second one just runs the actual pump. So I can just plug that in. That'll run it, and I'll be good? That's correct. Cool. All right, great, you guys. Do you, have, do you recommend one over the other? This is more for along the lines of a basement that's not going to be having a ton of water. If you've got a ton of water volume, the, the pedestal pump is the way to go because it's more dependable over the long run. So. This is more of like a new construction house, so if you've got a newer home, you've probably got something like this. It's a okay. lot quieter system. Um, it's efficient enough for what you're going to need, but like you said, um, this is what you're going to have for a more of a higher water table, and you also may want to look at something with like a battery backup. If power goes out, you really don't have power going to the pump, so you may have a problem with that. So that's what a lot of people ran into with the, the floods, is it just couldn't keep up, and then when power went out, uh, you were over and done with on something like that. So we recommend something with a battery backup if you've got a lot of water going through. All right, Eric and Travis, thank you so much for coming in. I believe we have some information for everybody. Next week, they'll be back. We'll take your phone calls on home improvement. And Springer Handyman is available for house calls. The number 1-800-793-1833. Or go online to springerhandyman.com.